Perhaps you've noticed the most famous pigeon of all time. Well, maybe not all time, but name another famous pigeon. Can you resist the curiosity of whether or not the pigeon actually does drive the bus? I know I couldn't. Several years ago, shelving books for Omaha Public Libraries, I flipped through the pages of this book. I didn't give the book or author much thought until I discovered the Nuffle Bunny series this semester and remembered, that's the pigeon guy. Mo Willems needs to be recognized by children, parents, teachers, librarians, and everyone else that could potentially recommend a good read to a kid. Before the pigeon, Willems worked as a writer and animator for PBS's Sesame Street and won six Emmy Awards for his writing. He also created the animated series Nickelodeon's The Offbeats and Cartoon Network's Sheep in the Big City. As head writer of Cartoon Network's number one show, codenamed Kid Next Door, he began writing and drawing children's books. His debut book, Don't Let the Pigeons Drive the Bus, was a New York Times bestseller and Caldecott winner. Other pigeon adventure books are The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog, Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late, The Pigeon Wants a Puppy, The Duckling Wants a Cookie, and The Pigeon Needs a Bath. But there's more than the pigeon to Willems. Willems' most common characters are Nuffle Bunny, Elephant Piggy, and Cat the Cat. Willem's use of photography and illustrations in the Nuffle Bunny series intrigued me, led me to read all of the series and other books by Willem's, and intensified my wish to share my new discovery. Watching Trixie grow up in this coming-of-age series was heartwarming. Her facial expressions speak for themselves, plus two of them were awarded Caldecott honors. Willems presents the friendship of Gerald and Piggy in the Elephant and Piggy series with a comic book style form. It's very conversational with color coordinating pink text bubbles for Piggy and gray text bubbles for Gerald. The two are opposites with Gerald being careful and Piggy being carefree. The pair balances each other out and the book addresses issues about friendship. Willem announced this year the 25th book will be the last of the series. Other books I picked up at the library were Hooray for Amanda and Her Alligator, a story of friendship between a little girl and her talking, playful stuffed animal alligator, Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed, teaching tolerance and acceptance through a mole rat that likes to put clothes on, even though everyone else is naked, Time to Say Please, an introduction about manners and the importance of please and thank you, and Leonard the Terrible Monster, a coming-of-age story about a monster terrible at being scary, finding unlikely friendship. Visit MoWillems.com for educational games, classroom activities, book samples, and videos to learn more about Mo. Be sure to check out the Grown Ups page for classroom activities and events for several of Moe's books.